Good afternoon folks, welcome back to Bezos Carp Channel. Um, you join me down here at Marrington Carp Fishery once again. Um, it's my first session of the uh, of the year, so I haven't, uh, haven't done any fishing since uh, I think it was St John's uh, at the end of last year. So yeah, back down here at Marrington for the second time. Um, it's a cold day, it's cold, it's, it has been very windy down here. I think it was up to sort of 50 mile an hour winds uh, yesterday, but it seems to have calmed down and, uh, and the sun's come out. So yeah, welcome. Um, I am on Swim 2. Uh, this is Swim 2, Merrington on the main lake. Um, I did have a walk around when I got here. Had a chat with some of the uh, some of the lads who are, most of them were just leaving to be honest with you. Uh, so there's only a couple of us on here. So I had a chat with the lads. Um, not much has come out. Um, the chap that was on this swim, I think he was here for about three nights and had two fish out. Uh, I'm not sure what size they were, but he had two fish out um, and lost a couple. Um, after having a walk around the lake, I haven't been seen any fish. Uh, nothing has showed their head, um, and the lads around here said they haven't seen much either. So there's not a lot to go on, other than this is the swim that's uh, that's had a few fish, uh, and he was just leaving. So I've jumped on here. Um, swim two, got a couple of features, um, a few islands out in front of me, um, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't led it around or anything. Um, I've literally just picked up on the spots that the lad was on before. So uh, we're looking at. Um, the left hand island just out there, probably around, I think it was 13 and a quarter wraps out there, just off the island, probably a half a rod length off there. Uh, one slightly to the left of that down in the channel, and I've got one out about 15 and a half wraps to the right of the, uh, of the island there on the right hand side. Um, I've not put much bait in, um, just hemp and corn uh, and a bit of crumb from the S7 boilie, um, but not too much, just a couple of spams over each rod. You see one of the lads over there, just looks like he's got one on actually, so I might go and see if he needs a hand. He looks like he's on there, I might go and see if he needs a hand, I'll reel in and... Get her in! The blank is over! <laughs> Any good? Oh, you, I think. Have a look. Oh, that's a decent one, isn't it? Well, it could be actually, I don't know. Soon find out. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to get scales. Come, reeled in, come running around. Oh. So you've been here all winter and that's it? You've All winter, every yeah. week. Yeah. First time. And I was getting liners galore yeah. all day off it and then it's just gone off. Good man, good man, excellent. I don't know if you saw me five minutes before it went off coming out and checking me real because it was beep beep, yeah. beep beep, beep beep yeah. and then just skated off. Brilliant mate. Right, I'll give you skills. Is that 16 wraps out was it? 17 and a half. Directly directly in front of the empty swim yeah that's why I could go 17 and a half because there was nobody opposite me okay and that was I've been trying on the blue wafters yeah and that was on a DNA yellow wafter okay judging by the weight of that I'll tell you what it looks at the Here's what's your PB? 29, 12. Is it really? Yeah. Come on. Get round to 30. Oh, it isn't, you know. Is it not? Wait, is he sitting on the ball? On top of it. Much heavier than a 22, isn't it? 22, 3. Thought that was heavier than that. Look, it looks a lot bigger than that, doesn't it? I'm happy. Right, one second. You have to do anything in, this, in these conditions. Stuff. 
pulling. That's it, mate. I am doing something right. <laughs> I've fished since the end of the end of the beginning of October yeah. and not had a single fish. Yeah. So that's my first fish in four months near enough. Brilliant. I'm glad I, glad I was here to catch it for you, mate. Oh. Okay folks, uh, sorry about that, um, I did go around and help uh, the chap around the corner, I don't know what his name is, but um, when I came on the lake uh, this morning, I um, had a chat with him, just up by the cabin, and uh, he was telling me he's been here pretty much every week all winter, uh, and not, not, not managed to catch a fish, um, but I was saying to him today that the conditions look really nice to catch a fish, although it's cold, uh, they still look like perfect conditions. Um, and lo and behold, he uh, he snags one uh, about 17 wraps out. Off, I think he's on swim 14, 13 or 14. Um, so I've gone and took some pictures for him, reeled on my rods in, um, just give him a hand and that. And uh, yeah, it looked like a, it looked like a big fish in the net. It looked like a, easily a 30, but uh, on on the scales only 22 pounds, just over 22. I think 22.5 something like that. So um, I think his PB was 29. Um, so he was hoping to beat that, but still. Fish in these conditions, you'll take that any day of the week. So, so yeah. So, back on my swim now. Uh, I got the rods back out um, on the same spots, um, but this time I just put a little um, little PVA bag of pellets on the hook bait uh, just to help out with the casting. So yeah, rods are back out. Um, praying I catch something today. It's been my first session of the uh, of the year, uh, so it'd be nice to have a fish to show you guys. I think if you watched the last video, um, obviously I went to Coppice Lane uh, with my mate Badger. So yeah, I was on Coppice Lane for the day uh, and blanked. Um, and I did say at the end of that video I was going to uh, go and fish in St. John's. Um, I did go to St. John's, um, I think it was, I can't remember, October time. Um, and I had an absolute nightmare down there. So I'm sure you guys have had these days before where nothing goes right. I've had crack offs, uh, my spawn broke. Um, the swim that I sat up in absolutely flooded out um, and all my kit got absolutely filthy and drowned uh, and that was the same pretty much for the whole day and even when I was packing up the heavens opened and all my stuff got soaked so I did film a little bit but there was nothing to film I struggled with the wind, I had high winds down there and I couldn't reach the spots that I wanted to get to where, the, where I'd seen fish so that's why there was no video of St John's um, there wasn't really much worth putting out there so yeah so that was my last session for for last year um, didn't go very well um, but this is obviously 2020 first session hopefully I'm gonna get some videos out there for you guys get some carp on the bank uh, and hopefully beat my PB over here which I think is 33 pounds I think is my UK PB 32 it might be 32.8 my UK PB obviously I beat that in France but um, UK PB 32.8 common so yeah um, this is where we are Merrington, I'm going to probably make this one of my regular places for my uh, overnighters, 48 hours. Um, and obviously if I can get down to St John's, or down to Linear, um, probably for longer sessions down there if I can. So that's where we are at the moment, um, we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm only here till tomorrow, uh, so it's a 24 hour session. Um, and obviously if I get any action I'll come back to you and, and try and film that. I have got the GoPro with me as well, so hopefully get some action if my rods do scream off. Fingers crossed. Um, sun's out but it's going to be going down shortly it's now two o'clock in the afternoon um, probably got another two hours of light before the uh, the sun goes down and it starts getting dark and then I'll probably retire into the bivvy because it is cold um, I've got this hill behind me which is protecting me from the wind um, it's much cold up the other end of the lake that's one of the reasons why I chose this end because the wind is proper in your face the other side so yeah so it's a little bit warmer down here uh, a little bit more sheltered 
so yeah a couple of hours i'll go and retire into the bivvy and um if we get any action hopefully later on i'll, I'll get some pictures and some video for you that's where we are see you in a bit okay so i've just got in uh back in the bivvy just put the kettle on uh, and the chap who caught that fish has just caught another one so yeah i was just about to reel in and go and give him a chuck again but uh thankfully the bailiff has come past and offered to go and help him so so fair play it looks like the spot that he's on is uh, is rocking so fair play to him it looks like he's worked hard all winter and uh and now he's reaping the rewards so yeah let's hope he throws some luck my way i'm just going to go and have pot noodle food of champions get that in me and uh uh, keep an eye on the water and hopefully I can see some sign of fish somewhere but um, but yeah it's a case of uh, sitting on my hands or waiting so there you go I'm gonna get some food in me and, uh, and I think uh, keep an eye on the water and, and, and hopefully um, one of the rods will scream off shortly we'll see fingers crossed what time is it half two half two so a couple of hours left of the light um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of bait out before dark not too much probably ham two or three spots over the spots and uh, put the rods out for the night something nice and bright for night time decent pink pop-up or uh, yellow pop-up something like that so yeah that's where we are I'll come back to you if there's anything uh, any news shortly see you in a bit Right folks, first brew of the day, um, what time we got? We're coming up to sort of ten past three now, um, we're just starting to lose the light, the sun's gone down behind me, um, yeah I've not had a touch, not even had a liner, not, any, not had anything, um, as I say Mark across the way, that's two fish for him now on that spot, so maybe the fish are out in the middle of the lake, who knows. Um, yeah, it's just a case of sitting on my hands and uh, and waiting to see what happens. I think uh, I think roughly got about an hour before I lose the light completely, so I might put a couple of spawns of um, hemp, corn, uh, and maybe some some washed out boilies. I've got a tub of washed out boilies here; they've been soaking in water for the last couple of days, so uh, I'll put some of them out as well. Just a few few free offerings around the bait, around the hook bait. So yeah. Uh, do some spotting in a bit um, and just get set up for the night, get everything into the bivvy um, and wait for the uh, the wind and the rain which we're expecting a little bit later. So yeah, unfortunately there's no action, uh, it's a bit of a shame but that's winter fishing for you. It'd be nice to uh, get a screaming run while, while I'm filming, that'd be uh, perfect for the video. Um, <clears throat> Andy couldn't come down today, again he's got work commitments, he had a meeting today so he couldn't make it. Um, so it's a shame. I'm hoping to speak to him on FaceTime a little bit. Um, um, and Badger is, yeah, Badger is otherwise engaged with sorting out kids and usual family life and things like that. So Badger won't be coming down. So unfortunately, it's just me today. But in a way, um, yeah, it's much needed. Much needed time on my own and a bit of a break from work. And so yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. Um, I'll come back to you in a little while. Uh, Hopefully when we speak to Andy. Still no fish, but uh, yeah, Andy's just calling me now, so we'll have a chat with Andy. Yo, yo, yo! Yo, 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 big cock, big cock, give a 
How are you doing? I'm wicked, boy. Nice and warm. How's things, bro? Sweet, you know. I wish I was fishing. What are you up to? Any fish? Well, I'm not fishing myself, to be honest with you. Just, just camping. Yeah? Yeah, man. I heard you're the, uh, the resident photographer. Uh, who told you that? Yeah, I have been around and take, took a couple of snaps of uh, of a fish, not mine, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's gone cold now. It's just about to get dark, and you yeah, can you, you look, can. Uh, you look all set up and ready for the night. Yeah, just uh, just gonna tuck myself in shortly. Yeah. You want me yeah. to come and tuck you in like the old days back in France? Mate. Oh, I, sorry. I, what happened in France? Stayed in France. Exactly, mate. We're, we're not gonna right, we're not gonna speak about that. I'm still sore. Yeah, I'm still, still going off either. I'm still hurting. <laughs> so, uh, where have you been? A funeral? Why? Why did you say that? That's your funeral suit, isn't it? Does this, does this crisp suit look like I've been to a funeral? Yeah. Mate, I've been to a high power meeting. Yeah. So, uh, when's the last time you fished, mate? Yeah, it's been it's been a while. I think you did one session last year, didn't you? Apart from France. Uh, sorry, you broke up then. What are you saying? So I think you did one one session, didn't you? Since apart from I France. I oh, know. Yeah, I thought you yeah. broke up. Yeah. So, well, mate, you should get yeah, your ass. Yeah. Should you get. Your... Catch the forty-five pound for France. I don't think it was forty-five pound, was it? Why do you always add oh, extra? Four, why do you always add on the poundage? Forty-four. I mean. Yeah. Why is it when we talk about your weight, you you deduct the weight, and we talk about fish, you add it on? Why is that? Looking good, mate. Looking good. Your two pays slipped a little bit though. You had to push it over. That's it, mate. You got it. You got it. Crisp. So, mate, uh, there's no fish. It's cold. Uh, I don't know. What, what is fishing tech to? Is that because you're lazy 20, 20 days or is there a reason you're on tech to? Well, because this is the one that produced fish yesterday. Two, produced two it's fish and lost. Produced two fish and lost two fish. So, and I had nothing else to go on apart from the wind, which was a cold wind over southwest, uh, which the other side yeah. of the lake, but it's a freezing cold wind, so I decided to jump on where the fish have been, because I haven't seen any, so. Here's as good yeah. as any, mate, and a 37 pounder come off this one last week. Hey, so, what the 37 come off? Last week, yeah. Nice. So, yeah, you've got to be in it to win it, kid. It's a bit like me, it's coming. Oh, no, oh, no. Me, it's coming. Yeah. Oh, no. So, um, so that's it, mate. There's uh, there's no action. There's no fish. I've I've filmed this fish for him across the way. Um, fortunately, none of mine. We we'll just have to sit and wait and hope. But no no fish have been coming out overnight, apparently. Uh, how many other anglers on? Uh, I think two two others, two or three others. Not many. Yeah. Not many. Yeah. So. Picture looks good on Instagram. You like it? Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, big carp, crazy. Yeah, get on there. That's it then mate, so yeah, look, whee, whoo, Andy, is it, yeah. what is it, Big Carp Cooper, what? Big Carp Cooper 33. Big Carp Cooper 33, follow him on Instagram. He the man that don't go fishing. He don't go fishing ever. We call him the one session man. <laughs> yeah, you're the, you're the one session man. So there you go, that's it mate, nothing else to tell you. Okay, well, hope you have a good time. Yeah, just having a chill. Yeah. So I'll let you go then, I'm going to go and uh, zip up and get ready for bed. Yeah, I need to get back a load, I can't say that here all afternoon. Well, mate, thanks for joining me at the fishery again, because I know, you know. No, no problem, you know what I'm like, you just say them, I'm like that man. Yeah. Put the, put the call sign up on there. Yeah. Any, anything, anything you want to say, anything you want to sing, Any, is there anything? Mate, what would I do without you? <laughs> well, Honestly. I don't, I don't give these tips to everybody. Don't, 
Don't be putting too much food in because you'll scare them. What, what? Don't be spotting around. Don't be plumbing around. Stick to your spots. I'll tell you what. And, uh, just enjoy yourself. Mate, you should make your own quarter masterclass. This is just a brilliant. This is. Well, they've been on. They've been on. I'm about to put them on block. That's just fucking annoying. <laughs> sponsor this, sponsor that. Yeah. Fucking Ali Hamidi, this fucking bear brass that. Fuck off, I'm busy. Yeah. Mate, you're just a wealth of knowledge, aren't you? You really are. Yeah. Now, now that I've listened to you, I might, does, I'll stand a chance of catching something, I think. Well, Thanks for that. Just, just listen to the advice, that's it. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't overcomplicate it. That, yeah. That's, you know. Yeah. Or you could go, just be really simple and don't go fishing like you and just sit at home. <laughs> yeah. Fair one. All right, kid. Well, I'll let you go because uh, my me, me memory card's running low now. You've killed it. Tight lines, just one, tight line. Take care. I'll let us. Uh, too I'll, many biscuits, not too many biscuits for that thing. Keep yeah. it nice and trim. Yeah, you stay on the fruit. Take care, buddy. Bye, bye. See you later. That's Andy, mental Andy. Uh, yeah, once again, it's too cold for him to go fishing, so he's, uh, well, obviously he's at work, but even if he wasn't at work, he still wouldn't be here because it's too cold for him. Cold and wet, and he don't do it. So yeah, there we go. Still no action. Uh, I'm going to zip up now for for the evening uh, because it's getting the temperature has dropped now and it's it's getting pretty cold. So I'm going to uh, retire. Um, and if I uh, if I can think of anything else to talk about, then I'll come on. Or if I catch any fish, then I'll come on. And but other than that, I'll see you in the morning. Take it easy. Shabow. Okay, guys. Yeah, the left rod. Left rod is just. Had a good couple of beeps. The bobbin's gone up. Um, and it's doing some weird, just up and down mo movements really slow, but I don't think it's enough to, for a take. So I'm just gonna hole fire and see if it actually screams off, but that's the first touch I've had all day. Um, so at least there's fish around the bait. Um, so. I'm hoping it's going to scream off while I'm while I'm still here talking to you now. Um, let's see. Fingers crossed. Temperature's dropped out here now. Just going to grab my coat. Starting to wonder if there is actually a fish on there. It's not. It's not going, but the bobbin has stayed up. Um, I'm sure if it's still on there, I should get. Uh, should get some form of indication shortly. It may well have just been a liner, but it was just a real strange indication. Um, had a couple of beeps and it stopped, and another couple of beeps and it stopped. And then I've come out and watched the bobbin and it's just gone up and down very slowly. Um, so while it was doing that I went and grabbed the camera obviously. I'm reluctant to, uh, to strike into it because I think if it's on there it's gonna, I'll eventually get a run. If it is on there it'll run. But, um, I think given that we haven't had any more indication on there, I'm just going to leave it and go back into the bivvy. The good thing is that I know there's fish in the swim now. I just have to hang fire and hope. Okay folks, it's, uh, it's just gone 10 o'clock now. Um, still haven't had any action. <coughs> no fish, no signs of fish. Um, which is unusual, but uh, there you go. Um, I've pretty much got everything on the barrow now. Just got to drop the bivvy and leave the rods out till, till the very last minute. Um, I don't suppose I'm going to get anything in the next hour or two, but um, but there you go. It's been a good 24 hours. I've enjoyed it. 
Uh, it's nice to get back on the bank. Um, just looking forward to getting back out here and hopefully get some fish next time. Um, the weather's changed now, we've got a real cold easterly wind. Um, it is pretty bitter. Um, but yeah, there's a lad waiting to jump in here now. He's coming on for four, four days or so, so hopefully he'll be able to manage something uh, in that time. But yeah, unfortunately no fish to show on this occasion. Uh, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, as I said before, um, I'd always show you when I blank and when I catch, so it's only right that I show you this. Last few occasions now has been a blank for me, but that's just the way it goes. Um, hopefully as the weather warms up and I get some more fishing in, um, we'll start to see some fish on the bank. But yeah, hope you like the video. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I would be very grateful. Uh, and if you want to keep up to date on any future videos, just hit the bell icon. And that will notify you when I put any more videos out in the future. So yeah, unless I catch anything in the next two hours, guys, that'll be it for this session. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, get yourself over here to Merrington. As I say, it's a great fishery. It's really clean. Um, and the... Uh, chap Ben who runs it, um, great chap, he'll look after you when you get here, show you where all the spots etc. So yeah, get yourself down here. Okay folks, that looks like it's the, uh, it's the end of the session. Um, unfortunately it's another blank for me, but these things happen. Um, I'll just keep going until, uh, until I produce the goods. Um, I just wanted to quickly finish off with, um, just let you know a little bit about the lake. Uh, like I said, I've only fished here twice now. Um, I haven't shown you around the lake on this occasion, I haven't shown you the swims um, or where the car park or the cabin is etc um, but there is another video on from last September where I'll give you a quick over, overview of the lake and a, and a short glimpse of, uh, of each and individual swims um, and explained obviously you've got the cabin here which is right next to the car park just behind me um, uh, during the summer months they do, uh, they've got a cafe here so you'll be able to get yourself food and things like that toilet facilities just behind me at the car park uh, but yeah, if you pop onto the last video from September, um, that gives you a bit, bit more of a look around the place rather than just on this swim. Uh, but I'm not going to keep going over that every time I, every time I come here. So if you want to have a look at the place in, in, in more detail, go onto the last video and uh, get a look on there. But on this occasion, I think uh, we're looking at a blank. So um, until next time, take it easy, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Please. Thank you.